Sadly, even death no longer protects you from identity theft. The IRS sent a letter addressed to my aunt, Mark deceased. Someone had used her social security number to gain employment. Susan Hughes couldn't believe it. Her aunt, who died 13 years ago, was suddenly an ID theft victim. Now Susan is scrambling to protect her loved relative and having to relive some sad memories. After 13 years, who would expect to get something like that? Turns out stealing the identity of those who've passed away happens a lot more than you might think. In fact, many organizations report tens of thousands of deceased people are targeted every year. Luckily for Susan, AARP has a list of things to do to prevent ID theft after death. Among them, notify Social Security immediately, alert all banks and creditors, and contact Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, which Susan is now doing. Let them know they should mark that account deceased. Do not issue credit. Even though Susan knows her aunt can't be troubled anymore, it still leaves her and her family feeling violated. You just don't think about your loved one who's passed being a victim. I'm Five on Your Side investigator Jonathan Walsh for the E-Team.